I do not like the flavor. Okay. So you're not hating on you're hating on on the American staple. No, it's more the lime. I think it's just the lime. I hate lime so much. So it's the lime. So we're just getting more. So you have a, a bit, a strong disdain. Uh, yeah. Okay. We, the root of the problem. Hey guys, we are back. Ham, myself, and we're here to cook another dinner and dessert using one mystery ingredient in one hour. Are we gonna see that mystery third ingredient to complete the trifecta of my most hated ingredients? <laughs> That's actually the new theme of the show. That is the new theme. Let's the we'll guess Ham's third favorite, or least third favorite. least feet favorite ingredient. Our goal is still to try and make real food, something that's tasty that you actually wanna eat, like not like stunt food. Yeah, like the, it's still the root of all the conception comes from cravings. Like mm -hmm. what are we craving when we think of this ingredient? Smells like bag. It smells like bag. I think it's a bunch of little things inside of like I think it's little containers. Yeah, there's like a box of something. There's I think like... it's tin fish. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what a switch. Okay. <laughs> Just after we were like, we're trying to make real food that's delicious. <laughs> Was that a dramatic enough reveal? I, I, I was not expecting this at all. This is, this is worse than the ingredient ham hates. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is hard. This is getting fun. Well, okay, immediate issue is that how do you get this to set in an hour? Refrigerate four hours or until firm. We don't have four hours, Jello. I think we'll have to think creatively about how, ca how can we use this as more of like a seasoning thing. I think we have to taste it. We, we don't need to open two. We need to oh, good conserve, point. conserve. Do you know what I would use this with? Mm -hmm. Chaat masala. Make like a fruit chaat. Oh, that's thing. a good idea. Hey, hey. You get some sweet, you get some, some like, yes, it's a fake citrusy, but it's still a citrusy thing. I feel like we can really lean, in, lean into like some funk. I also feel like we can take advantage of the texture because it's almost like xanthan gummy mm -hmm. to give something some body. Instead of just doing a dry spice on the chat, what if we make like a stable vinaigrette using the jello for body and sweetness and some of the lime vibe? That sounds good. But that's not dinner. That's just like a side. <laughs> it's a side. <laughs> what if we got some, some shrimp in there? And then just have it be a one dish. Have it be a one dish thing, like a shrimp fruit chat deal. Yeah, okay. I actually feel like dessert's gonna be harder because we can't use it the way it's intended. What are what are traditional <coughs> desserts that are made with jello? Jello. <laughs> jello Besides <is> jello. <laughs> well there is a speed set on here. Where you do half ice. Where you do half What's ice. What's the time on that? 30 to 90 minutes. We're you in that range. You wanna make another pie? What kind of pie? You know like that pie Diesel Boy made with tang? Oh. <laughs> Our friend made us this pie. Tang pie? Tang pie. And it was tang and cool whip. Right, that was it. That was it, in, in like a graham crust. Yeah, and it was really it good. It was delicious. How about a trifle? Trifle, then it doesn't need to be. Cute. Trifle. Yeah. And then we make a key lime curd and layer that with something. Can we make some kind of sugar cookie thing with this as some of the sugar? Yeah, we can do that. I couldn't do this without you. Oh, I, I would just <laughs> make a parfait. It wouldn't be a trifle. Okay, so we're gonna make a stone fruit chat to go with broiled shrimp. The dressing is gonna be made with jello and the shrimp is gonna be dry brined with jello. I just got a quick thought. Yeah. What do you think about squid? Yeah, I'm more into squid. Let's do squid. Dessert, jello trifle with lime jello mousse, key lime curd, and jello cookies. And jello sugar cookies. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. A plan out of a pile of jello. I also feel like we haven't talked about your Whoa. Oh. Whoa, it's like. You did this. It's like I felt this. Mm -hmm. The universe told me. Mm -hmm. I felt it. We've been dreading this moment, haven't we? I just like don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I don't think that anything we do to this is going to make it not taste like lime jello. What are you What are you talking about? It's just sugar, gelatin, adipic acids, and it only has less than two percent of disodium phosphate, sodium citrate, and fumaric acid. It'll be fine. Uh huh. So I've already changed my plans. Okay. So originally for the trifle, I was going to roll out cookies. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to do more of like a crumble. And with that extra time that I have now, I'm going to make jello shots. Whoa. There is no better use of your time. Even if everything is terrible, we will have some gin. So that's the strategy for today. We're going to first course jello shots. Then it doesn't matter. All right, I looked up a recipe online and it's one packet of jello. Look at that. Oh, that aroma. One cup of hot water, half a cup of gin, half a cup of water. So, first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the squid dry brine. So, these are the tentacles that I'm gonna fry. I'm just gonna toss it in a mixture of the lime jello and some salt. I'm gonna rinse this off. So I'm getting pretty aggressive with it. Whoa, woo, that smells, that's lime jello. Oh my God, it really is. The second it hits some liquid, yeah. it just like, that artificial lime just fills the air. Look at that glowing green. I actually have three jello cookbooks. Three, yeah, three, I don't know why. I used to really like jello molds and stu stuff like that as a kid. Maybe I've just been like denying my roots, you know. Oh gosh, that's. That's a lot more jello than I thought you were gonna use. <laughs> I feel the like people ask for jello. We're giving them jello. Our gin. Ice bath. Let's see, how long have I been making these? Wow, six minutes. Last episode I had a cake done by now. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, we'll have jello shots. Okay, first course, done. Okay, let's make some more jello. This is gonna be the base for the jello mousse. And then I will head on over to the back and make a jello cookie. So I looked it up. There's actually something called a jello sugar cookie. It's like a thing. When we were conceptualizing, I didn't know it was a thing, just said it. it sounded like it could be a thing. It's actually a thing. And lo, lo and behold, a it's real a thing. thing. So far, two boxes of jello. Huh? You're two boxes deep? Whoa. And I'm using a third right there. Wow. 50 minutes. Oh, I thought you said 15. I'm like, wow, wow. I have accomplished nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my jello streusel. The jello just takes up a portion of the sugar. So I cut up all my stone fruit. I'm gonna season it with a little salt. And I'm just gonna let that sit in the fridge and hopefully some of the uh, natural juices start to leach out of it. And then I'm gonna retoss that all together in the end with our other garnishes and our chaat masala and lime jello dressing. Yum. Oh my gosh. Never thought you'd ever say that again. Or say that ever. Say that. Ever. It's like it's a St. Patrick's Day episode. I think I want a little more flour. I want it to be more streusel -y. My squid have sat in their jello bath for long enough. I'm gonna rinse them. It's still green. I was hoping it would keep the hint of green. And oh, it, did. it is. It is. This is less streusel than I was hoping, but I think it's fine. Some smooshes of cookie dough. It'll be fine, smushed like this, right? What do you think? Yeah. 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Now I'm just gonna finish up preparing the salad garnishes. I gotta whip some cream. Once the jello thickens slightly, I'm gonna fold the whipped cream into it for a like moussey layer. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Oh, that's like not a lot of time left. No, this is, I feel like I'm, I haven't done anything, but the time is really flying by with this one. I haven't done anything but complain about jello. I still have to make curd. Okay, come on. Whip faster. That's just some hot oil. Hey, we're getting somewhere. What's happening? 35 minutes, that jello is thickened. Wow. 
Now, this chills. How are you guys doing? Are you a cookie? Not quite. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm moving extremely slow. Me too. Whoa. 31 minutes. Next, I'm gonna make the lime curd in a blender with fresh lime juice, no jello in there. So we get a different layer of lime. The great thing with the Vita Prep, if you blend it long enough, it actually steams and gets hot and the eggs will cook. So you can like make hollandaise in here, ice cream base, or curd. If you do this with a non Vita Prep, you'll just break your blender. So these are dry brined tentacles. I'm just gonna soak it in some buttermilk. It helps give it a nice little tangy flavor from the buttermilk and it also helps tenderize it. I'm gonna transfer over some fresh towels. I'm just trying to wick away as much of, as much of that moisture as possible. Do you wanna talk a little bit about the magic of chaat masala? I know you have very, you have a lot of strong opinions about it. Well, it's magical. I think that the only thing that might save the jello is the fact that as much as I don't like lime jello, I love chaat. I might add a pack of jello in here. I'm gonna taste it, see how sweet it is. Why not? Why not? I'm just making a quick dredge. So some bread flour, a little MSG, onion powder, garlic powder, red chili flakes, and some salt. How's it going? Good, I'm about to fry some calamari. Okay. Hey, curd. What's our situation? 20 minutes, it, I'm, you know, you can't say I didn't embrace the secret ingredient. You definitely did embrace it. And now I'm gonna season the calamari with a mixture of chopped masala and Ooh, those look so good. lime gelatin. Wait, how many packets of jello are in this dessert? I'm using another one. One in there, one in the mousse, one in the cookie, one in the jello shots, and now one more. Five. You're gonna start whipping? I'm gonna do a whipped jello topping. What's our time? 15? 15. Jello is cool. It actually like will hold a foam if you whip it over an ice bath. In like that jello, one of those jello, one of the three jello books I have, they use whipped jello a lot as a garnish. It's like I've been preparing, preparing my whole life for this. Squid is super quick to cook, so I'm not gonna let it chill there for too long. I'm just looking for some color, some char, and then I'm gonna flip them over. I think if I give myself five minutes to assemble, I'll be good. I wanna get this a little more set. What's the time? Okay, I'm gonna assemble. All right, curd. Wait, doesn't a, doesn't a trifle usually have booze? Mm -hmm. Should I put booze, the, some jello, the jello shots, shots in, in here? There. Yeah. yeah, actually, I like that. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I'll put them all in here. Last minute pivot. It wouldn't be... Six minutes. It I wouldn't think... be right without a last minute pivot. Are you laughing at my creation? No, I wouldn't. Now I'm gonna combine all my salad components, so dressing. What's our time? Four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes. Hmm, that's not bad. Just tastes like a lime cookie. I really thought it would be a lot worse. That should be the name of the show. I really thought it would be a lot worse. Yeah. This is the curd. Dropping up the squid into rings. What's our time? Three and a half. Three and a half. I smell a lot of gin right now. So that's good. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, it's so wiggly. Really down to the wire here. 130. <laughs> a little jello foam on top. I, have I done now? I think that I'm done. I think this is it. <sighs> At least you made food today. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. 
it happened. Look at it jiggle. <laughs> We're here. We're here. One hour later, with two plates of Jello. I mean, this looks like a real. This looks like real food. I mean, they both look like real food. Only this looks like real food through a neon green filter. I'm just gonna start with the crispy guy. It's tasty. I don't know how much of the lime jello is coming through. You get the funk from the chopped masala. The heat from the chilies are really nice. The jello is just there, adding like a little bit of lime flavor. Like this is a tasty dish, but I would notice that the jello was missing because yeah. you do need that sweetness to help balance everything else that's going on here because there's a lot of big punchy flavors. Yeah, I feel yeah. like lime jello and funk. Good friends. Good friends. Good friends. It's all about balance. We yeah. pretty much season everything with, with three things. It's... Salt, sugar, MSG. Salt, sugar, MSG. Don't we, put MSG in your dessert, though. Yes. No, don't do that. Yes, it's don't weird. do that. Yeah. We've tried. Yeah. It's not great. We know from experience. These um, layers are stunning. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't think the jello was going to set in time, but it seems like with the power of an ice bath and a freezer, anything's possible. Dare I say you also underestimated yourself a little bit? Why? You're questioning your ability to set anything, and here we have a bowl full of jello set multiple ways. Multiple set. ways. This is just a study in jello. That's not bad. Not bad at all. No. It tastes like a dessert one would make with lime jello. It I, tastes very familiar. I feel like we're back in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Everyone's an alcoholic. And like this whole meal is very bright and light. Like it's a bright salad, bright dessert. Like you could eat this whole thing and then just hit the town. I'm just gonna have some of the gin. 